Okay, cool. Um, we're at 11 a.m. Um, PST, so I'll get started. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, really appreciate you guys being with us here today. Um, good morning, good afternoon. Um, I'm Prak. I know it shows as Becca, but I'm Prak. Uh, I'm the product marketing manager here at Rently. And joining me, um, I have Jonas, who's our lead product uh, manager for the manager experience, and Adi, who uh, or Aditya, who manages, um, you know, who's the product manager for the renter journey and the renter experience. Um, so for today's session, um, we'll be going over our new wayfinding navigation feature and you know how our self-guided touring product has really evolved with this feature and you know Jonas will be diving deeper into the manager experience and setup and Adi will be talking about the rented journey um, you know again uh, we over here are committed to building products to support your leasing staff and ultimately um, you know the leasing activity um, at your communities but at the same time, allowing renters to have a great experience when they are on a self-guided tour. Um, so to make most out of your time with us today, um, I really encourage everybody to interact with us. We have poll questions, we have the chat box, and you know we want to provide you with the information that's valuable to you. So please use our chat box to ask us questions. I might be buggy and you know keep asking you guys to ask us questions, but you know the purpose of it is for us to provide you guys with information that you are looking for. So. We will take up all the questions towards the end of our presentation. But yeah, um, just a few housekeeping items. The session is being recorded, so you know you might be muted. Um, and if for some reason you face any technical difficulties during the session, please use the same registration link to log back in. But you know, with that, I won't take too much time, and I will hand it off to Jonas now. So yeah, Jonas, it's. Um, all yours. Um. Um, yeah, thank you guys everyone for joining. Thank you, Proc, for the introduction. Um, as mentioned, my name is Jonas. Uh, I work on the manager experience. Um, so the portal that a lot of your team is uh, logging in to set uh, units up for self-guided tours. I'm joined by Addy, who manages uh, the renter experience. As Proc had mentioned, we're really excited to uh, show you guys today some new features and enhancements we're doing to the directions for self-guided tours um, and really pushing uh, this experience and journey to the next level uh, for your renters to have a great experience as well as your team um, at the properties uh, property level to have a good experience with setting up units for self-tours. So we're going to dive into a lot of this today. Cool. Just to give a little intro um, into Rently, what we do here. Um, our core value is a company. Um, so our vision that we all strive forward for within Rently is to create the best rental experience in the world. Um, that's our company vision. Um, and in doing so, um, there's some facts here. So we get about 1 million, over 1 million unique visitors per month that comes to our uh, listing site, rently.com. And in 2022, we facilitated more than 3 million self-guided tours. Uh, this encompasses multifamily and single-family self-guided tours. Um, on the multifamily front, um, we've done about 50,000 scheduled apartment tours. And from all the scheduled tours happening at your properties, 30% um, of all those tours are scheduled from our listing site rently.com. Um, in creating the best rental experience in the world, this comes along with a lot of interviews um, and feedback that we get, not only from the management companies like yourself, but also from renters. Uh, we interview a handful of renters every year, uh, getting feedback from them and understanding you know, why they choose to come to Rently, um, what they like about self-guided tours. Uh, we're always striving to create this best rental experience in the world. So you probably see that kind of slogan thrown around um, here and there when it comes to Rently. Um, but a lot of that is due to the feedback we get not only from renters, but from the likes of you as well. Um, so do please let us know if you have any feedback or questions. Uh, we're always here to listen. Addie and myself are always happy to um, talk to any of you. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, this is just some little facts here. And we're gonna kind of hop into 
the problem space now um, that we've seen. So, oops, wrong way. Not doing the pull again. Is that Adi, you want to kick it off? Yes, um, I'll just quickly introduce myself again, Adi here, and I manage the renter experience. You can all, also call me the voice of the renter. Uh, so I represent the renter all the time. Um, uh, so we did identify a problem in the recent times where we, where we talked to a lot of prospects and identified that renters are finding it hard to navigate uh, during a self-care tour, especially in medium to large size communities. Um, so to give you a little bit of background on of how it works, um, so managers, so what managers do is they have to write, take photos, write some instructions that is then being shown to the renter during the self care tour. So when a renter checks in for the self care tour, um, they sit, this, they sit and read the set of instructions that the managers entered and uh, post that they have to keep reading the instructions to ensure that they navigate effectively, eff effectively during the self care tour. Um, so what happens is this leads to some confusion and they keep looking at their phone to navigate to the right direction and they end up getting confused and going to the wrong uh, wrong direction and end up wasting a lot of time during the self care tour. So what did we do? How did we identify that this is a problem? Um, so what, what we first found out from our NPS feedback, so we do get feedbacks from renters after they complete um, every self care tour. Um, so we, we, they give us a rating and they also um, comment on how the self care tour was. So we did identify that the major pain point was navigating through communities. So we even had prospects say that I had a problem with uh, the directions were unclear. I did not know where to go. The pictures were unclear. The lockbox um, was not where it was supposed where it was supposed to be as per the instructions. So I did not know what to do during my tour. And some of them even told us that they even ended up missing their tour um, because of um, incorrect directions or them not able to understand how to navigate through the community. So to go further, what did we do next? So next, what, what we did was we surveyed um, some, some renters to identify what's the most, uh, the biggest problem that they faced um, during their self care tour. So we identified that the biggest problem they faced was with understanding what the directions to the building and the unit was. So about more than 30% of renters surveyed um, did mention that they did not understand where to go, what to do. They had to find it up the, out themselves. So some of them even go to the leasing office um, during leasing office hours to find out where they need to go. But after leasing office hours and weekends, they, they are helpless. They don't know who to talk to, what to do and they end up taking too much time in their tour and do not get enough time um, to look at the units themselves. Um, so after that, what, what did we do? So we also talked to some of renters, we interviewed uh, quite a few renters and we also identified from them that the major problem during the tour was to, know, to not know where to go. Um, so they also did not know where amenities um, in the community were. They did not know where the unit was. So they have they were struggling to understand where they need to go and we also identified that amenities is something that was really important to them and they did not know how to go to the amenities um as well janice you can take it forward yeah cool yeah thank you Addy. um so um this is a problem and it kind of contingents on the manager side too and that there's a handshake here um you know on the manager side um your team's expected when they activated new unit for self-guided tours, they have to fill out these step-by-step -step instructions that Addy is referring to. And the renters that we interviewed and heard feedback from were referring to, uh, you see here on the right. Um, but the problem statement on the manager really is like setting up self-tours for my property and its units is time consuming and tedious. Um, so there's really another problem too on the manager side is that setting up these step-by-step -step instructions is time consuming. Um, we've identified this is one of the major pain points for our managers and users who are activating units for self tours. They have to go out on the tour path, take photos with their phone, they have to send it to themselves and upload in the portal, and then they have to come up with these step by step instructions, which relies on you know human data input. Um, property from property, this could be very um, a different experience as a whole, just based on how it's written right from property to property maybe you know we're all human sometimes my left is a right and i say the wrong thing that's just gonna um, cause issues on the renter side really like what addy mentioned um so 
some data that we found on the manager side from interviews and um, some data that we get from the portal is um, set up for a unit for self tours can take anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes to come up with the pictures, the instructions, and actually activate that unit. Um, interviews with our users also showed that this is a, a major pain point within the whole system on the manager side is just this step is uploading these photos and the instructions, um, as well as something I just mentioned that directions can be unclear and deviate from property to property. Um, and I, we know it's important for you all to keep the experience consistent. If someone's seeing property A or property B, you know, at your company, um, you want them to have the same experience, you know, and not have a bad experience where they can't find an elevator, stairs, or a lockbox, something like that. So uh, really on the manager side, to front, it's um, a time, operational time constraint, um, 15 to 45 minutes. That's a lot of time that you could be using for resident management and facilitating lease renewals or even new leases, um, as well as um, expectation to come up with a very formal um, instruction process is difficult. Um, so those are really the, the key problems and we're excited to kind of show you know, how we're solving this problem. Um, and again, something really quickly here, if there's anyone um, visiting that has heard internally, um, this is a pain point for your team, or even if you're the one doing these instructions, just feel free to chat and let us know, hey, like, I know what you mean, like, it takes me this amount of time, or like, let, it, let us know that um, you're in the same boat, but this is something that we've heard um, from across many PMCs and users. Uh, but how are we solving this, right? So um, what's actually happening? So um, in the, I think about last year, uh, we met with a partner and got in contact with a partner who is helping with mapping for like parcel delivery services and stuff like that. Um, and we've been working with them really closely over the last year um, to come up and fit their application to our use case and, and really like what's happening. Um, so we all know how a map works. You know, Google Maps, you can see the streets, roads, et cetera. Um, but what we're actually doing is creating a more micro level map for your property where all the little paths, roads, um, things of that sort are mapped out. So if you think of Google Maps, if I want to map from your leasing office to Unit 101, it would actually draw a navigation line through all the paths of the community, shortest distance possible to take me to Unit 101. That's essentially what's happening. Um, also, we have a property unit map overlaid on Google Maps, which gives a really state of the art view for a renter. When they're actually on a tour at the property, they see the outlines of the units on Google Maps. It gives them just a very like consistent uh, approach to a self-guided tour. Also, it's just something that you'd expect in the 21st century. Like it's 2022. Um, we're no longer relying on images and text instruction. We're relying on a map, which everyone is really familiar with, you know, going back to the days of Thomas Guide, um, if there's people here that, that are old enough to know that, versus now where everything is very simple on Google Maps, you navigate from my home to the pizza shop or the grocery store, right? Um, so that's really the, the first part is, and the most important to us is having a good renter experience. At the crux of it, we're uh, customer centric to you guys, but we really, you know, we know that you care about the renter experience as well as we do. Um, and secondly, this cuts back um, the actual setup time. You know, those instructions that I referred to that took 15 to 45 minutes. Now, what we've actually implemented is it might take your team anywhere from five to 30 seconds um, to pin key points on a map that are pertinent for a self-guided tour. No, long it, no longer it's turn left at the statue of the elephant, turn right into building A, go upstairs and you're writing all this down. Now it's simply a navigation line through the community from the parking to the lockbox or to the unit, uh, whatever the setup is at your property. So that's a little insight. Um, what's some data, like, you know, how's this going? So we've been live with a few, you know, very awesome customers. Um, Shout outs to MG Properties and more residential, especially. Uh, but we've been live at a handful of communities, I believe about 12 or to 15. Um, 
and this has been live for about two months now at some of these sites and we've gotten some really good results so at some properties we're seeing double renter satisfaction and um, less instances actually no instances of renters going to the leasing office being confused on you know where they have to go um, there are reports that renters were actually going to their leasing team because they got confused during the self tour they didn't exactly know where to go um, and they've let us know that all if not like you know one or two of those instances have happened since this has been live um, they reported to an increase in closing ratios at some properties um, as well as this is across the board um, Addy, I can attest as well. We've been training these product or these property managers and community managers on how to pin the maps and how we're pinning it um, and setting it up for them. And there's really been overwhelming support and joy. Um, definitely some hallelujahs in the room and yeahs that they don't have to do these directions anymore, uh, which are very tedious. So making um, the community managers on your team happy. Um, and a lot of this, more of this details can be found in the case study, which I believe should be linked to this webinar, um, unless I'm wrong, <laughs> but it should be. Um, linked here. Actually, we'll uh, we'll follow up with the case study uh, maybe tomorrow um, in our, yeah. Okay, more on that. We will send a follow up on the case study, um, but a lot of this information is in there about how this feature is actually working live. Um, yeah, um, before we go to the next, uh, we have one more poll question because we have a, a, it's a cliffhanger poll question, and then we're gonna actually go give you a demo of how all this works um, for the manager and mentor side. Uh, but Addy, is there anything that you'd want to add to this before we move on? Um, yeah, I would just like to add that, um, a, a, a particular instance where a community manager told us about something. Um, so she could see where the lockbox has been set up um, from, uh, from inside her leasing office. And uh, so before we set up the mapping for them, Every prospect used to go and go to the lockbox, but did not know where to go. They always used to go to the community manager. They used to open the leasing office, go inside, find out where to go, what they need to do. Um, and post, um, post we um, deployed the mapping for them, the prospects were able to know where they need to go. Um, it's just like Google Maps, right? So you know, you know where the lockbox is located at, and then we also ensure that the prospect is directed to the unit um, through the map itself. So it's it's a very simple and smooth process. And this has stopped prospects from actually going directly to the leasing agent to identify what they need to do. So even on weekends, if they do not know what they need to do, now we have the map so they can easily navigate themselves uh, within the communities. Yeah, cool. Um, so we're gonna hop into the demo, but before that, we have one last uh, poll question. This will be the last poll question, promise. Um, and it's which aspects of a mapping solution are you most interested in? Um, so we have five options here, and there might be other ones. If there's other ones, do let us know in the chat. But we have tour directions. So are you interested in mapping for uh, self-tour directions, like what we're discussing now? Um, are you interested in saving operational time for setting up self-tour units? So um, is this interesting to you because you can cut 30 to 45 minutes of your team's time to say five to 30 seconds. Um, or maybe there's other applications of the maps that you're interested in, um, such as resident knowledge. Do you want a map to show your residents, you know, where their unit is on move-in day or to show residents where certain amenities can be, uh, where the mail room is? Or maybe staff and vendor knowledge. Um, for new hires on your side, do you want an interactive map that you can actually show, you know, where units are or where amenities are. Um, and then on the data side for business analytics, maybe you're more interested in maps to know um, which hallways are being used most frequently or um, which units are being to, like a heat map of availability, um, maybe even parking stuff. There's a lot to the data piece that we haven't even touched on <laughs> with our mapping vendor yet, um, but they're on this call, so they'll see if that's important to you. Um, but yeah, let us know what you're interested in here, and then we'll, um, we're happy to get rolling with the demo. Let us know. Um, I mean, some great responses coming in. Um, let's keep them coming. Jonas, it looks like business analytics is important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool, okay. Um, 
Um, I yeah, will it looks pretty good. Um, so let's see here. Most people said tour directions, which we're happy that you, um, that's the majority that keeps us, you know, in line. Um, we agree that this is awesome feature for tour directions. Um, and then business analytics um, tied with time to set up. Yeah, so the time to set up, um, we understand like time is the most valuable thing in the world. <laughs> you can't buy more time. Um, so each minute of your team is crucial um, to keep leases, you know, uh, rolling in. So definitely understand that. And business analytics, um, if there's certain things that you're interested in business analytics of the maps, please let us know here in the chat. Feel free to reach out to myself or Addy after this uh, meeting. We have our email links at the end. Um, but let us know what you're interested in, uh, because that's something that I'm personally very excited to look into in the next year as we uh, really hash out this feature and start to get to the data part. I'm really keen on that. Thank you guys. For yeah, we would really love to hear uh, what you would like to know uh, with respect to business analytics as well. Um, if you can share more details with us, that would be really helpful. Yeah, we have ideas, but we want to hear grassroots from you guys. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much. So let's get into the fun stuff, right? Um, how does it work, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna show you, uh, we have a, two, a little two-part demo. I'm gonna show you what I just got my hands on today, which is this feature live within the Rently Manager portal. Uh, when you activate a unit for self-tours, you'll be able to pin uh, the amenities and the building entrance on the map. Um, and then we'll also show you what it's gonna look like on the renter side uh, when a renter actually goes through it. So uh, pause, let me go over here. Alrighty, so um, this is our manager portal. Some of you might know it, um, some of you might not as much, but this is where you'd actually activate a unit for self tours. Um, so in this case, we're in a staging environment. So there might be things that look a little off or knock on wood that <laughs> that work um, but let's get through it so we have k101 here so i'm i'm a leasing agent um, i'm at this community that's just um, some random engineering text and i want to activate unit k101 for self tours so historically i would have to go take photos come up with those directions uh, step one through ten whatever it is uh, but now what we're going to be doing is if I just go and I want to activate this unit for self-touring, so there's a toggle here, activate it. I would like to turn this on for self-touring, yes. Uh, we'll see a map pop up. Um, so what's actually happening, and all these pins are all over the place. This is not what it would look like. Again, it's staging, so people are poking in here and messing with things. But what would essentially happen is this map would pop up and unit K101, we would already know where that unit is. So this black door here is the unit door, K101, K102, A105. So whatever, whatever it is, we would know exactly where it is. At this point, um, it's really about choosing where parking and the lockbox may be. Let's say um, you have a use case where you would like the user, the renters to park in the future resident spot. They go to the lockbox by the leasing office and then they go to tour the unit. So let's just take this example here. This is the unit. Um, I want them to park right here. So this is future resident parking. I would have them park here. I have my lockbox pin that I would just drag and I could add over here by the leasing office. Or maybe the lockbox is here by the building entrance. Um, all this is being done through this map there's many points of interest that you can choose. Um, some of this verbiage is changing, key box to lock box, there, there's certain things here, but for the most part, all of these are options that we have right now. Um, and we're only gonna be showing them step-by-step step during the tour, which I will uh, let Addy show in a moment. Uh, this is what it looks like in the web portal. Let me show you what we're actually gonna use as a live example. So I'm gonna kick it over here to this property, um, Ontario, Ta Ontario Town Square. This is a live client, so um, we're not gonna mess too much with it, um, of course, but let's just see here. So right now I'm mapped to unit B304. So this property has unit B304 as active for self-tours, and B304 is right here, uh, this unit right here. 
Um, so what's going to happen is they want them to park outside on this street here. So there's a street on the north side of the property where they want the renter to park at. And their lockbox is located uh, right here by the leasing office uh, nearest to it. So we uh, will place the lock, place the lockbox there. We know where the unit is. And in this case, there's a building entrance, this blue icon that's a little hidden. We try to unhide it right there, this, this little thing right here. This is the building entrance signifying the renter would enter on the north side. Um, we're gonna guide the renter through nav lines, which Addy will show in a moment. Um, and then let's just say like there was um, the fitness room is over here. We can add the fitness room. All right, maybe I need to refresh my screen really quick. Uh, but we could add the fitness uh, marker on the left here. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have the fitness room over here. And let's say we have, um, there's a barbecue on this right side. So you see the barbecue icon here now. So all that can be added. And that took me really like no time. Um, we're going to know where every unit is. And really, it's up to your team to pin parking. You know, if there's a building specific parking, you can do that now. Um, and then pin the entrance to that building. In this case, it's like very simple. It's a garden style. Um, so it's it's really simple. <laughs> um, but if you want to do parking per building, you can. We are choose the nearest parking, and then we guide them to the lockbox and the unit. Um, but that's um, the renter side. And I'll quickly show you on the, let me go back here. I'll show you on the renter side what it looks like. So here we go. All right. Um, so I'm going to be doing some role playing here. So imagine I'm, I'm the renter here. Um, I've scheduled a tour for this particular community right here. Um, the community manager, Jonas, has set up the lockbox. Um, set up um, everything um, in the map um, and activated it for self-guided tours. So I see this unit and I've scheduled um, a self-guided tour for this particular unit. Um, so as a next step, what would I do as a prospect as a next step? So I would want to know where I need to go. Uh, do I have to go to the community leasing office? Where do I need to park my car? What do I need to do during my entire self-guided tour? So as a first step, um, I would want to know where I need to park my car. Um, so if I want to know how to park my car, I, I would be able to see a parking pin, as you see on the first screenshot over here, um, on where I need to exactly go and park my car within the community. Um, so me as a prospect, I would be able to zoom in and zoom out and understand where exactly I need to go and park my car uh, in this community. Um, so after I finish parking my car, what's the next step I need to do? Um, in case you have a lockbox set up um, in the common area, um, of the community like it's set up uh, for this particular community as well. Um, as the next step, uh, what would happen is similar to how Google Maps works, um, you will be able to, uh, the prospect will be able to see a blue dot. So I will exactly know where I'm standing um, in that particular community and where I need to go in order to go to the lockbox. So as you can see here, there's a very small gap um, in the navigation line. Um, so our vendor here knows exactly all these small places, small spots, small gaps in a location where people can walk, um, any spaces that uh, that has space and uh, people can walk through it. So if you see here, there's a navigation line right from the parking to the lockbox, and it's the closest, uh, it's the fastest path um, to the lockbox here. So after I see the map, um, I just keep following the blue dot and the navigation line, and I can reach the lockbox. And me being uh, someone experienced, I might know, okay, the lockbox is located just somewhere over there on the left. So um, I, I would, since I use Google Maps very regularly, I know where to go. I might even probably keep my phone in my pocket, walk to the lockbox, then operate the lockbox, retrieve the key um, from the lockbox. And as a next step, what I need to do is I need to go find where the unit is located at, which is very, which has been very difficult for me in my previous self guided tours. But I see this map here, I understand, oh, okay, I need to just follow this path over here. I need to go backside wherever I parked. And from there, I need to walk straight and go to the, that particular unit, um, right? So I see the map, I understand how it works. And I, I know where the unit is exactly located at. And I can even, even if I lose my way, there's a blue dot to help me navigate my way um, through that particular building. 
So um, then I find my way to the building. I go to the unit. I really love the unit, but I also want to know, I, I really love swimming all the time. Um, I, and I want to know where the swimming pool is located at. And I'm not a really fit person, but I also want to start going to the gym. So I also want to know where the gym is located at. Um, so so I, I get to see an amenity map. So I get to click on an amenity map and I can see where the amenities are located at right from the unit that I'm interested in. So I'm interested in B304, but the, if the swimming pool is also closer to where the unit uh, is, so it's easier for me to go to the swimming pool, right? Um, so I, I see that, okay, this map is not bad. It's not too far from the unit. It's pretty close to the swimming pool. So I can actually go and see where the swimming pool is located at, right, uh, right from outside. In most cases, I guess swimming pool is not accessible um, to me, but at least from the outside, I'll be able to see that, okay, this is where the swimming pool is located at um, through this map. Uh, so this is a unique use case that we have here. So there are many other use cases where you might be using a smart lock at the unit. So in that case, we would just be um, having a parking in a particular location, wherever you want me to park. Uh, so me, I'll just go park in that particular parking and just go to, directly to that particular unit, navigate myself for that unit. And you might also have lock boxes at the unit itself. Even in that case, like you see the second screenshot, instead of going to the lock box, I will be navigated right from the parking to the unit directly and I will see the lock box there. I can operate the lock box to enter into the unit. Um, Janice, you can go ahead. Yeah, no, really good point. So um, we there's a bunch of different use cases of how uh, your properties are using Rently for self tours. Some of you have a lock box in a community area like this property. Some of you are using a smart lock at the unit door. Some of you have a lock box at the unit door. Um, all that's being covered um, already. So um, if it's you're going to add something or, or not add something that would break the renter experience, we'll actually tell you. <laughs> um, you need to add a lockbox because you have a community lockbox setting. Um, so we, ha we have all that understood and the map is uh, playing a role into supporting however you you have rent lease set up at your property. Um, yeah, great, great, Addy. Um, cool. And again, hit us with any questions. Um, if you guys have any feedback or comments or questions, we're gonna have a little bit of time at the end to go over um, some questions. Um, so yeah, so this is how it works currently. Um, we're supporting single unit touring. Um, so a renter can see a single unit, um, but we have some, there's some future points here that we wanna mention. Um, this is just the cusp or the beginning of a very exciting journey of automated wayfinding and self tours and also other applications. So maybe Addy, you wanna highlight some of the, the first two here? Yes, um, so like Jonas mentioned, uh, right now what we have live is the single unit touring feature. Um, so a prospect can schedule a tour for a single unit and we navigate them from the parking um, to the lockbox to the unit. But up, what's upcoming is multi-unit touring where if imagine you have five units um, that are vacant and you want to activate for self guided tours, it's it's going to be a tedious, it was a tedious process for you to set it up. But right now it's going to be a very simple process. It might take probably a minute or two to set up all the five units for self guided tours. And me as a prospect, what I would do is I would, once I check in for my tour, I have the option to, uh, to go to any of the units that I want to. So based on what I need, what my needs are, what my budget is, and what what I exactly want to do during my entire tour, um, so I get to pick uh, what I get to do in my tour and tour all the units that I want to during my tour, not just one unit. I can tour any unit that's active for self guided tours during my entire tour. And so how this will work is like like we showed you in the previous screen, um, we do navigate from the lockbox to the unit. So we will also be doing unit to unit navigation. So we would not need the renter to go back to a specific location and navigate themselves um, to the other unit. Instead, what would happen is I'm, I'm standing at a particular unit. I finished my tour at unit 101. Unit 501 is probably 100 meters away from where I am. Um, I will be seeing a navigation path to go to that next unit. Um, and exactly, I, I will exactly know how to go to that particular unit. And I did not, need not see any directions or any anything else uh, during my entire tour. And also in case in the future, 
Um, we will also be navigating prospects if they want to uh, visit the leasing office. Uh, we would be navigating prospects to the leasing office as well. So once they have completed the self care tour, we would be giving them an option to navigate to the leasing office only during office hours, not in weekends. Um, so it's on, so we will be navigating them to the leasing office uh, as well um, as needed. Um, and next is agent showing. Um, so Rently is currently offering free agent tours for um, all our uh, multifamily clients. Um, so it's it's free of cost right now. Um, so imagine you have an agent showing scheduled um, and me, the prospect, have scheduled the agent showing. And I do not know how to, I've gone and parked my car, but I do not know where the leasing office is at and where, where I need to meet the agent for my agent tour. Um, so we will make it very smooth and easy, uh, easy process for the prospect. We will be showing them a map and a meeting point where uh, they can actually go and meet you uh, during their tour so it's going to be a very smooth and easy process for the prospect and for you as well Janice, would you like to show them the 3d maps that's really exciting yeah yeah sure um so yeah the and this is a cut back really quick the multi-unit feature um this is really a game changer for us um we love this feature um it provides a really good renter experience where i want to see any one bedroom or i want to see anything under Two thousand dollars a month um, at the property. You know, I can actually schedule multiple units during a single tour. The problem before was the directions. Really tedious, really confusing. Um, kind of relied on bringing renters to a central point and then like spider webbing them out to the units. Now though, um, I'll be able to choose exactly what units I want to tour, and we'll basically craft the best tour path via the map for them from unit 101 to 501 to 801. Like all that will be automated. Um, so there'll be no directions, no confusion. Um, but yeah, that's really exciting. 3D maps. Um, so let me show you. So right now what we've just showed you is some of these 2D maps, right? So this is 2D. Uh, there are 3D options available. Again, this isn't what we're using yet, but there's some use cases that we could definitely see this being uh, good in, some data analytics that it will show. Uh, but this is the same community, right? So this is the Ontario Town Squares, the same unit that we've highlighted. Um, but if I zoom in, I can actually see it's a 3D view where essentially we have this unit highlighted here and we have polygons, like, like XYZ polygons um, of the unit map. So you can see exactly, up oh, that unit is the third from the northwest corner all right um this is a garden style pri primarily a community um or like a low rise whatever we call it but um let me show another example where this is a community here nearby um, in los angeles and marina del rey this is a mid-rise um, this might paint a better picture um so if we zoom over here we can see exactly where this unit is so it's right here. We're being mapped to, um, I don't know what unit it is, but um, there's the unit is being mapped to right here. We can see parking lines um, and you can actually see a nav line that kind of cuts through the building here, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then it guides the renters to go up to the third floor here. So for mid or high rises, this is something that we're still playing with, by the way. Um, and seeing how this can best be incorporated into the renter's journey. There are some little nuances like a mobile response. Most of, if not all of our renters are going through mobile application, making sure this is mobile compliant, um, data usage. Um, but maybe this is good at the beginning to give them a high level overview of the property. Or maybe this is good for your own internal staff. Um, there's really cool things here too, like Let's say like, oh, does this, when does this unit get sunlight? Uh, we could actually kind of see with um, our vendor here has some really cool features to see sunset. So they get sunrise, but then as the sun sets um, to the west over the water, you know, um, it is not sunny. So it's maybe sunny during between the hours of 645 and like noon is when you would get bright sunlight into that unit. Maybe that's important in some places. Um, I have have heard where, like anecdotally in hot places, units that 
are better shaded or, or don't have direct sunlight, maybe go for cheaper. Maybe there's more demand for them, or maybe you can market that in some way. Um, kind of the choice is, is up to you guys and what you guys think. Um, but yeah, that's the 3D mapping stuff. I'm still very new. Um, we're not incorporating it yet, but let us know how you want us to incorporate it. Um, because we're very keen to see like what, what role this can play, not only maybe in self-guided tours, but other applications of this 3D map or other use cases that are beneficial to you. Um, cool. And then um, the last, I have maps for resident vendors marketing. Again, um, kind of the, the world's our oyster here. Uh, we work with an awesome uh, vendor and partner that are providing these maps for us and, and really working with us. Um, if there's other use cases outside of self tours or leasing efforts or really within leasing efforts, whatever it is, do let us know. Um, I also want to add a bullet point here because business analytics and data. Um, let us know what data is important for you guys with maps. I have some ideas in mind, like like heat heat maps of certain um, certain uh, hallways or certain areas of your property, certain pathways. Maybe it's nice to know that for marketing efforts where you can put posters or notices for tours, whatever it is. Um, but do let us know. Uh, we're very keen to hear you know, what you guys want from the future of mapping. Um, we think we have a pretty good grasp on self-touring and how we can facilitate self-touring, especially for garden and mid-rises. And mid uh, but do let us know. Uh, we're very keen to hear more. Cool. This is all great, um, but like, how do I turn this on, right? Like, I want to use this, so it's cool to hear. But um, how do we use it? So I'll let Addy kind of um, close it out with like, how can we activate this for you guys? Yes. Yeah, so this all looks good. Um, so activating it is also not. Um, it, it, it's also pretty simple and easy. It's not going to be difficult at all. Um, so if you're a new prospective customer for Rently, um, we can have this feature bundled uh, into your contracts um, whenever you sign up with us. Um, so we wouldn't. So your agents would not have to um, enter any directions or do anything um, except for um, the unit setup, where they need to just move around the pins, which would take a few seconds. Um, and going forward, um, any existing customers. If you're interested in, in this new feature, you can request your account executive, or your client success manager um, to help with this new feature. So there are some communities uh, where you don't have a map, so you don't have any marketing maps um, or anything that would you know, be beneficial for us to map out your entire community and understand where the swimming pool um, and any, any other points of interest, including your units are located at. Um, that's not a problem at all. Um, we can work with um, some city blueprints um, and also we can also have someone um, from our vendors team um, go to the community um, directly and map out um, the units um, and the entire community themselves. So all you need to do is, is to ask your community manager to give access and just give them permissions to enter into your community um, and map it out. And um, also um, time to map any new communities. We, our vendor already has about 60 to 70% of all our clients' communities right now um, already mapped out. But any new uh, maps that we do not have, um, it would take anywhere between two days. Sometimes it even takes two days, um, two days to uh, two weeks based on what, what exactly they need from us. And finally, so how much what's going to happen next? Um, so as a webinar special for anyone joining the webinar, um, this particular feature would be three, free for three, three months. Um, you can test it, you can play around with it, you can give us feedback, um, you can get friend, uh, feedback from your renters as well. You can test out the software completely free of charge for three months. And then later, if you if you like it, you can go ahead and buy it um, as well. Jonas, would you like to add any more points here? I would just like to say, sorry Adi, I would just like to say you like it now, you get it for three months, I mean. Just reach out to Jonas, Adi or myself. Yeah. Yeah, we're very confident in this feature um, and just as transparency really is a core value of, of here at Rently. Um, as a product manager, and I'm sure Addy can agree for the self-tour experience, um, we really want this to be the mainstay experience 
So in a year, um, it's really our goal to have all of our customers using this map um, because this is a win-win-win for really everyone, um, the renters, um, the operational efficiency for the management team, as well as us, we get a lot of feedback on Rently that the self tour didn't go well because the directions were bad. So they, you know, get blame, they get mad at Rently or leave us negative reviews uh, based on a lot of the instructions too. So we really just believe in this feature. Um, but yeah, three months free. You like it? You know, you could buy it at the end. Let us know. Um, you know, we're very confident in this feature though. And we, we, we don't want any prospect to tour just one unit in your portfolio uh, during a, a single self care tour. We want them to tour any uh, active units during a tour and enable you, you all to sign leases faster. Yep. Um, right on. So questions and feedback. Again, I know there might be some chats here and there, but please do let myself, uh, Addy or Proc here are our emails. Um, any feedback or if you want to meet with us to go over this with a deeper dive, um, your client success and account executives will be able to help as well. Um, but you can also come straight to the, the source on the product team. Uh, we love talking to you all and getting to know your feedback. Any additional use cases for maps that you're interested in? Uh, yeah, do let us know. This was a great session. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that I really thank everybody for attending today. Um, from the Rentley's marketing team, we always want to provide, um, you know, information on the webinars that are really beneficial and engaging. So as part of the post follow-up webinar, we are going to have like a survey. It, it should take you less than a minute. So I do encourage everybody to share their valuable feedback. And yeah, with that, again, thank you everybody for joining um, and being with us here today. And thank you so much, uh, Aditya and Jonas, for this lovely presentation. Um, I'm really excited for this, and I hope everybody who is part of this is also really excited for our wayfinding features. So, yeah, thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Hope to thank see you so much, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye.